All right, Pat, so I got to ask you, growing up, who were some of your favorite players? So I'm from Nashville, uh, Braves country. So I was a big Chipper Jones fan. My favorite, though, Gary Sheffield. Ooh. I love his bat and stance and everything, how yeah. he toggled the bat. So uh, we did that in my living room so many times. And we even got, like, uh, the chef hats, you know. Okay. The chef is in the house. So I like that. I like that. So Mount Rushmore, one pitcher, one catcher, one infielder, one outfielder. We're going to start off with catcher. Who's your catcher? Catcher. Man, I gotta go Jorge Posada. I like that. I Jorge like that. Posada. I don't I don't like the Yankees all that much, mm -hmm. but man, I loved his act. I loved how he played the game and just like everything about his style I was a huge fan of. So the next one is pretty it's been unanimous on the infielder. Who's your infielder? Man, I'm a I'm gonna break the mold here. Um my favorite infielder growing up playing, I'm not saying it's technically Mount Rushmore, but my favorite player to watch growing up was Rafael Fercal. I like Rafael. Smaller dude, big old forearms yes. that he could hit some serious, serious tanks. So you're the first to do Rafael. I like that. I like right, outfielder. Outfielder, man, I'm gonna go Ichiro Suzuki. I like that. Ichiro, I got to know him a little bit, you know, just being up here and everything, and he's been awesome. So okay. I remember watching him and Sean Green, but I gotta go Ichiro. Okay, so obviously pitcher, you being a pitcher, who's big the unit. Big Randy. unit. Okay, that's easy. With an honorable mention of uh, Tim Lincecum, but oh, wow. Mount freak. Rushmore, I'm, yeah. going, I'm going big unit. Okay, okay. So, obviously, I know you said you don't play video games, but I got to ask you. The first time that you saw yourself on MLB The Show as a video game, I won't say character, but it was yourself. You're on the game. What did you think? I haven't seen it yet, bro. I haven't, played, haven't. I haven't played the show Okay, okay. That's since okay. I've been on there. But, uh, okay. yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. Yeah. I'll, have to, I'll have to see how, like uh, – accurate the mechanics and everything are i'm pretty excited pretty accurate i'll say I ha honestly haven't even thought about it until you just said that i saw hey well now you got some research to do now you may want to check it man you may have some <laughs> discretions maybe we'll see so outside of that baseball cards when you see yourself on a baseball card what do you think about that because i mean as a kid you probably collect oh, yeah. them but now you see it what do you think man it's just a huge blessing honestly um i always try and put myself or myself back in my kid's shoes you know my kids sell shoes and like Looking at older guys who are playing playing in the big leagues at that time and how much I looked up to them, I hope that I can be someone like that for a younger kid and inspire them to play the game, maybe throw a sidearm or something. But, man, it's a huge honor and blessing. All right, so music. Let's say if you got a walk-up song, it's named after you. You can pick any artist or multiple artists to do a song. Who would be the artist? Ooh, man, I got to go rest in peace, Eddie Van Halen. Yes. If I could have Eddie Van Halen play a Penn Murphy walk-up song, that would be... I like that. Inject that into my veins. Okay, okay, I like that. So, last question. Let's talk about this team real quick. So, obviously, there was a lockout, but then you guys come back, and there's a trade that happens. Mm -hmm. And you had some talented guys to this roster, along with you guys already that were already talented. The expectation for this team changed, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. It goes from playoffs, like, maybe they can actually compete for a World Series. So, what are some things that you look at this team and think potentially what you guys could do? So I think it all starts in the locker room. Mm -hmm. um, I've been on a lot of clubs. This is my first big league club. Mm -hmm. But I think it all starts in the locker room, and that's the biggest piece. You get that right, and everything else seems to kind of flow together. And, man, it's, like, the most fun walking into the locker room every day for work. Mm -hmm. Like, we got a bunch of smiling faces, and everyone's gelling. The guys clicking, and we just got a lot of characters, a lot of personalities, and that's an, that's an incredible thing to see. So, but yeah, I mean, Gino and Wink walked right in, fit right in. Mm -hmm. You know, they're doing their thing, and – you know, picking guys up, and you know, we just got a great we got a great clubhouse culture going on, and okay. that's something that's like imperative, if you ask me. But I, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Well, Pitt, man, keep doing your thing out there, man. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate you.